those three things was when you started talking about the future, the Navy, how you were really excited about it, made me excited for you because you seem like you're looking forward to it. You can't wait till the summer rolls around and you get to head off. The, then um, for the audience getting to know you, I feel like we got to know you from high school until now and what you want to do, but we didn't really get to know you before high school. Maybe you could have talked a little bit, maybe a little bit about like childhood and then middle school and then and then jumped into high school a little bit. It would have been maybe like a good transition, but you did a good job. Also, then uh, for preparation, I feel I like the use of uh, Prezi. I, I really like that website. It makes the PowerPoints very interactive. I, I love using that one. It seemed like you, you knew what you wanted to say, but there, there were times where maybe you got stuck a little bit. And I feel that if you would have maybe practiced like a few more times, it would have been a little more smooth, but it was good. Also, you were maybe a little monotone, maybe you would have, your, your voice tone, if you would have altered it a little bit, you would have gotten maybe a little more excited about the Navy, because it seemed like you were excited, but if you would have, you know, exploded a little bit your voice, then that would have been a little better. Then your beginning was a little vague, but then when you started talking about uh, college and your future, that was really a strong point, but then towards the ending, it ended off kind of vague as well. You didn't use any notes, which was really good. And some things that maybe you could have done differently was uh, be more aware of your ums and uhs. I know I'm doing it, but you know, try to think about it maybe a little more. Move around the stage maybe a little bit more. Move freely. Maybe that takes you out of your comfort zone and gives you a little more energy. Also, like I said before, vary the tone of your voice a little bit. And what I really liked about your, your presentation was that you really you really like where you, you came from, your high school, you really like what you're doing now in college, you really like your, your major, and you really are looking forward to what you're gonna be doing with your major now. And also how you mentioned Toastmasters, how you wanna incorporate this into what your future is gonna be. So, good job. her speech. I was laughing from my seat from the beginning until the end. This girl has so much enthusiasm. She has a great speaking ability because when you want to speak, you want to engage your audience and I felt so engaged by her story. I felt that I could really relate because she made it so simple. A sunflower, right? And then the way she talked to the audience was also engaging because she asked questions and she engaged you in her speech by first telling you a little bit, she, you know, she, she gave you the three different things about a sunflower, and then she went in depth. By the end of the speech, I wanted to be a sunflower. I said, that's a great costume, why not? I never thought about it before. But, I mean, your presence was key. I loved your presence. You're, you moved your arms, you moved around the stage. You were at one point over there, and then you were over here. But I was like following you as you moved. It wasn't like you were hopping, no. You were just kind of flowing. Um, also, I thought that when, um, well, when you made everybody laugh, it kind of it seemed to me like you lost a little bit of your grip, a little bit of your formality. But it's okay, because you were listening. Thomas, he told us to have fun today. It's Halloween, so 
we were doing it great. Is that the end? I don't know if you were trying to fill up space, but you did kind of say one word at a time, <laughs> very slowly. So I don't know what happened there, but I think that if you had done a little bit more preparation, you wouldn't have had any trouble filling up the time, and that's something everyone can always improve on. You can always do better. So make sure you take time out of your day during the week, and maybe practice your speech a few times, make sure it's long enough, and make sure it's what you want it to be. I feel that you could have been stronger because uh, practice makes a good speech a great speech. The um, use of notes was pretty good, huh? She had, you know, a little tiny thing that she referred to every once in a while. So we knew that she was speaking and she had prepared because you wouldn't have had that if you hadn't prepared prior, right? So that was, that was a really good thing that you did. This was your second speech and I was surprised to find out it was your second speech because you just spoke last week, so that's when you did your intro, you moved straight through your next one. And some people, like me, kind of just begin and then get a little bit scared, step back, but you're moving right along, so good job, Jessica. I think you did meet the time requirements, is that correct? So you did that well, and it says here that you want to get better on your intro and your conclusion. I think you did great, because you concluded, you finished up your points, you know, you went over them again, and also you did Good in your intro, you got me engaged. So good job, Jessica. Thank you, Diana, that was great, great critiques. Now, if Thomas can come up here, he'll be evaluating Christy. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and especially Christy. <laughs> um, what can I say about, say what about her speech? I thought that was a really good title, an attention getter for speech. I, nothing's more boring than, than not getting your audience attention or being, I'm going to talk about Shinobi or something very random and boring. But no, you got us engaged. And what I really liked about your speech was um, you also incorporated Toastmasters. And that's what we're all here about. We're here about Toastmasters. And it was so nice of you to come, to come in today and tell us more about Toastmasters from a chief district, district, district point of view, from some up above, up, or as I like to refer to as upper management. <laughs> I really felt like you went into details of each preparation of like how you used your education and used that on your job of preparing notes. I pretty much of like how you, you pretty much told how you're going to use Toastmasters in the real world. And that's what we're here for. We're here to better ourselves. We're here to better communicate. We're here to get better with our public speaking skills. And that's what we're all here. I like it how you had the index card in your clipboard. I really felt like that you were getting your point across with the, um, with the regional aid. But the other index card of the, of the Mohammed guy that burned himself. <laughs> and um, I really felt like that, that helped insinuate your point across. You were very knowledgeable about the subject. You've been talking about Toastmasters. You've been with Toastmasters for years. I know you're very passionate about foreign affairs, foreign policies in the Middle East, so that really helped your speech out as well. And yes, your speech was very well rehearsed. I, I always like hearing real, really good rehearsed speeches. And one thing I thought you could improve upon, I know you did, move around and I know we have that thing that we just move around more. Okay. It's just I mean like there's not a shark over that's gonna eat you so <laughs> you could you could have stand over there. But overall it was a really great speech. I'm really glad you came out and came to our club tonight. And I really love your costume. <laughs> and that's why I was laughing right now. <laughs> in the corner. Madam General Evaluator. some great evaluations by the evaluators. Can I get the timers report? The timers report, all three evaluators were on time. The time, the time constraint was two to three minutes, and the first, the first one was at 2.57, the second one came in at 3.04, and the last one came in at 2.57. 
Best speaker. That's fine. Did we you want guys to? vote for best speaker? No. Okay, we're voting for best speaker too. And evaluator, so we'll take a little. No, just a, second. Just a couple minutes. Who's here? person. I don't know why I'm blanking. But because I was given this critique as well, but try to like vary the eye contact. I think that does help instead of just be la being laser focused on your one sole person. You had great projection of your voice. Um, and I like that you acknowledge the fact that he used Prezi, Eric used Prezi in his presentation. I thought that was a really neat way of giving your presentation. And um, Dennis acknowledged that. You had great critiques, because I mean, you really took your notes, you listened, um, I kind of saw you writing down your notes, so I know you had a ton of things to say. And I liked how you said that you acknowledge also Eric and his little personal details as well, I thought that was nice. And for Diana, I thought you had great eye contact, you were kind of talking to everyone in the room, you made, when you're up here, I feel like you always make people feel at home, I think it's just your energy. So you, and you also had great pauses within your speech. You 
when you when you were talking about Jessica, you you pause to you know drive home the fact whatever you were a great thing that Jessica said in her speech. You gave great advice. Well, all the advisory groups gave great advice and great critique, critiques. Your body language up here was perfect as well. I felt that you moved around a little bit, but you stood kind of still, so you had your moments, just like your, your pregnant pauses. You knew when to like slow it down, and you knew when to speed it up, and so you were using the room to your advantage, for sure. I like that you addressed Jessica's um, funny, or, or she laughed a lot, because I think you did it in a good way, like a, in a constructive way, instead of like bringing the topic down, you did it in a very constructive way. As for Thomas, uh, you're, one of the great things is that you took great notes on Christie's speech. Like you knew exactly what the things that you liked about her speech, which I liked. That that told me that you were paying attention really well. And I like the fact that you thank Christie for coming, and also thank you. We love having guests here um, at our meetings. It definitely um, makes us all excited, and it's fun to see guests and like older Toastmasters because I. I think we want to be eventually to where you're at, like be a great speaker. Thomas took great notes on her speech, like I said. He um, addressed the title of her speech and how he, it was the perfect kind of uh, title for her speech, so I like that. I wish he'd use the room a little bit more. You kind of stood here, even though you told her to use the room a little bit more. But yeah, you kind of stood here, and you were just kind of, you, you were reading down your notes, because I totally get you, you wrote a lot. But you could, you could have used the room a little bit more. You could have walked around. Um, You're fired. <laughs> no, but I think that is about it. That's all my evaluations. I'm going to return it to Jordan, the Toastmaster.